Okay. okay, so let's go. We're gonna start sitting down just because I don't know how too complicated I can get without figuring this situation out. So let's have a seat, sitting up long and tall, grabbing a hold of your band or your ring. I actually have a ring now as well. And this is the tightest band. Sitting up really tall, press the sits bones down, side the shoulder blades away from the ears. Feel your low belly drawing in, feel your pelvic floor lifting up off of the mat. Maybe even you bend your knees a little bit just to find a little more length. With that length, you're gonna then keep long as you tuck your pelvis and just roll back halfway. Sliding your tailbone underneath you, you go halfway and then come up to that long and tall seat. Slide the shoulder blades with mirrors. Inhale, exhale, rolling back halfway. And then sitting up tall. Inhale, exhale, halfway back and hold. Relax the shoulders down, draw the abs in, and little presses out. Oh, Neil, I'm happy you're here because I thought you weren't coming today. I thought it was two weeks that you were missing. So I, 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 my, my apartment's not getting done this week, so. Okay, perfect. But I got him late last night, so no story. Oh, that's fine. And then we're gonna slowly roll back another inch and another inch and another inch. You roll all the way back, lengthen your arms long behind you, and then reach the arms up to the sky. So the shoulders are clear, show the abs in, and roll up to your halfway point. So coming up to that halfway point, wide collarbone, and then just twist your torso over to the right, keeping your pelvis in place and rotate back to center twisting it over to the left and back to center. One more time, twisting over to the right and back to center and over to the left and back to center and then rolling up and dive over to your toes. Take a quick little stretch, but we're not done there. And sitting up tall, set the shoulder blades down, roll back halfway. This time as we hold that halfway back, we're gonna lift the right leg of my throwing chip off the mat and lower and then left and lower. Pull the belly in, alternating sides. Let's do two more each way, micro lift from the abs, not from the hip flexor on the quad. Last one, and then slowly roll all the way down. Take a long stretch there. Inhale, exhale, reach the hands to the sky, peeling yourself up this time. We're gonna go all the way over to the toes, take a dive forward, and then we'll add our stretch, hooking the band on to the right foot, and we'll all the way down, and we'll keep going. This guy. Oh, that stretch feels good. So just ease into it to start. Just breathe. Add some bending and straightening of the leg. And then holding it straight when you can, and then start to just breathe into it, pulling it back a little bit further. Shoulders relax. Take a couple more breaths here, taking it to your deepest hamstring stretch without overstretching, but just getting that length. Push the right sits bone forward. And then we'll release that, hooking it to the toes. And pulling the toes down, push the left rear calf stretch. And you can point and flex. And then holding the toes down, no pushing up. And then back to the center of the foot and spiraling the thigh open and out to the side for your inner thigh stretch. Pushing your left hip into the mat. Lengthen out through that inner thigh. Maybe you can stretch that leg out a little bit further. Mine is struggling today. And then we'll sink that leg back up to the sky and across the body, stretching through the side of the hip, pushing the right hip away. <sighs> Keeping both back pockets planted down into the mat. Shoulders relax. Let's take two more breaths here. and then melting into your spinal twist. Let the leg fall across the body and looking in the opposite direction. Keeping both shoulders on the mat. 
and then extend that leg back out to straight. And we'll hold on to the band and roll yourself up and over and catching out to the left foot. Oh my right leg already feels so much better. This stretches everything and just ease into it. So you don't have to yank the leg back. Let's just take it, just get it used to being up first. And then you can add your bend and straighten. And then holding the leg up and then slowly start to come back a little bit further. Take two more breaths there. You push that left sits bone forward, anchoring the right leg down. And we'll release the hamstring stretch, bring it to the toes for your calf stretch. What? Okay, sorry, I thought someone said something. And point and flex. Really pull the toes on, push the heel up, and then hold the toes down. breath there and then center of the foot and spinal or uh, let it spiral out to the side and get the inner thigh stretch keep pushing the right hip down lengthen out of the inner thigh let's take one more breath there And then sweep the leg back up to the sky and across and stretch this out of the head. Shoulders relax. Two more breaths, getting a little deeper. And then into the spinal twist, let the leg fall across the body, looking in the opposite direction. And we'll extend that leg out to straight, shake it out so everything's long and loose. And then let's just bend the knees, bring the feet to the mat, and start to set up our neutral spine. So you can just arch and imprint a couple times to let go of any extra tension in the pelvis and then settle into your neutral. Hip bones line with your pubic bone. Keeping your little bit of lumbar curve. Lengthen the arms up to the sky. Reach the fingertips to the sky and let the shoulders just drop down into the mat. Reach the fingers like they could touch up and then let them drop down one more time. Reach them up. And then drop the shoulders down. Feel how wide your collarbone is there. Keep that as you tiny tuck the chin. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Reach your fingertips to touch towards your ankles and then lower back down. Inhale, exhale, curl it up and lower back down. Three, two, on the next one, can you lift and hold without moving your pelvis? Hold and then it'll reach us forward. For five, four, Three, see that your pelvis is staying real still. Last one, and lower it all the way back down. Release the arms to the sides. Let's bring the right leg to tabletop. Keep the pelvis still, left leg to meet it. Shoulders relax, draw the belly in. Tap the right toes forward and float them up and then the left. So arms can be relaxed by your sides. They could be on your pelvis, they could be on your belly. Feeling that everything is drawing in. Shoulders relax. So if you feel like there's tension in your collarbone, the legs might be going too far and the abs not working quite enough. So they're maybe still waking up. So stay within your range of motion. Let's start to take it a little faster. Let's just go tap and tap. Pulling the belly in a little bit deeper. Five more like that for a five. Shoulders soften. Two, last one. Bring it back to center, give the knees a little hug. 
press your low back into the mat. You can rock side to side, stir the knees around in the hip sockets, whatever feels like it's going to let go of the tension. And then let's bring the feet down to the mat, arms by the sides, tuck your pelvis, roll your hips up into your bridge, pushing your hips to the sky, push the knees forward wide to the collarbone and roll yourself all the way back down, finding your way back into neutral, tuck your pelvis, roll all the way back up into your bridge. Starting to fire up the back of the legs and roll all the way down, booty activates, tuck the pelvis, roll all the way up and all the way down. One more time, all the way up, sequentially all the way down, find your way back into your neutral and bring your right leg to tabletop, left leg up to meet it. Draw the abs and squeeze the thighs together, flex the feet, dip your heels just a few inches forward and then float the knees back up. So taking it slow to start, dipping the heels forward and then dragging the heels up. So you just take it to your point of control and then lift. Notice what's happening in the upper body. The moment you feel too much tension in the upper body, the abs aren't working quite enough. So just decrease your range of motion until you have the observation happening. Lift up out of your pelvic floor. Let's do a few more here, taking out to your point of control. Two more. Pull the abs in, being very careful to not be swaying in the low back. Take it out one more time and hold it. Float the hands an inch up off the mat, lift the head, neck and shoulders, and then let the knees open and close. Open and close. Three. Lifting the fingers to reach a little bit further forward for three. And last one, bring the legs back together, give the knees a hug, and let your head rock side to side. Bring the legs back to tabletop, reach the hands to the sky. Inhale, exhale to lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Press your hands away from you, press your legs away from you, and then bring it all the way back in. Inhale, exhale, lengthen and bring it back in. Exhale, you lift, lengthen, reach arms and legs. And then and this time, let's hold it for the hundreds. Inhale, exhale, lift, lengthen, hold, pump the arms to the hundreds. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Pull the belly in tight. Legs can stay out to your point of control. Maybe they're low, maybe they're up to the sky. Maybe they're in tabletop, maybe the feet are on the floor. Inhale, mine kind of want to be on the floor right now. <laughs> exhale, inhale, and exhale. You have your little bit of space underneath your low back. Inhale. Two more sets. Inhale. And exhale. Let's set. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take the legs back up to the sky. Hug the knees all the way and let your head rock. Drop down to the mat and let it rock side to side. Shoulders relax. Everything lets go. Bring the feet back down to the mat. We're coming back into that bridge. So let's ground the feet down, tuck the pelvis, arms by your sides, and roll up into your bridge position. Actually, let's take the hands up to the sky if it feels available, and then sequentially roll it all the way back down. So fingertips are just right over your shoulders, roll your hips all the way up, push the feet down, push the hips up, and roll all the way down. So it's always that moving in opposing directions. Your feet are stamping down into the mat. So you can lift your hips a little bit higher, hug the thighs slightly together, and all the way down. The next one stays all the way up holding it on the top, and then pulse the hips to the sky, press up, 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 little lifts. So you firm up the tush and just press up. And then we're gonna drop it all the way down to touch the mat, press up, squeeze. Drop down, press up and squeeze. Lower, press up, lift. So staying in neutral as you just lower, lift. Lower, up, hold. Getting a real nice tightening in the back of the legs and the bum. Hold this next one up. Lift the heels up and tap your bum down, press up, squeeze. So you're just balancing on your toes. Make sure the big toe mound is pressing down. Make sure your pinky toe is pressing down. And then hold it up, tiny pulses up, press up. Collarbone is wide for five. Last one, drop the heels. Walk the feet out to the edges of the mat. Let's lift the toes, dig your heels down, push the hips up even higher, drop your bum down, press up, squeeze. Tap down, press up, squeeze. So your arms can always be on the mat. They don't have to stay up. It's just taking away some stability to turn the abs on even more. But if it doesn't feel stable or it's going into your back, bring the hands down to the, the mat alongside you. Hold the hips high, tap the thighs to touch and open, they sweep in and out and in. 
push the hips a little bit higher, tuck your pubic bone slightly towards your face so you're not dumping into your low back. On the next one, hold the thighs open, pulse the hips to the sky, press up. Can they go up a little bit higher? A little bit higher, really fire up the bum for five. Last one, drop the toes, walk the feet back to center and sequentially rolling your spine all the way back into the mat. We're gonna revisit single leg in a moment. You can bring, actually keep the hands to the sky, bring the legs to the table one at a time. You're gonna reach your right arm long behind you, left leg long in front, so opposite arm, opposite leg, left arm, right leg, and back to center. Draw the abs in, lengthen and in. And if you would like, you can lift your head and up your shoulders. What if it feels good on the mat? You can also just keep your head down. I think my head wants to stay down this morning. Draw the belly in, lengthen. As your arms and legs lengthen, can you drop your abs even tighter? Let's do two more each way. Last one. Bring everything to center. Give your knees a quick little hug. And then extend your legs up to the sky. Imagine they're resting against a wall. So there's a wall behind your legs. The legs are there, just there. Point the toes and then spiral the thighs open so they're in external rotation. Crossing, <coughs> excuse me, the right ankle over the left, left ankle over the right, right over the left. The legs open as wide as the mat, maybe a little bit wider, and then sweep them so the left closes on top. Right, left, sweep open. Switch, 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 open. Long legs. So your abs are really controlling this. So it might seem like, oh, we're just kicking our legs around, but our abs are controlling the pelvis to stay still. Shoulders relax. The legs open as wide as it's a challenge to maintain them there, but not so much that it goes into a stretch. Though you'll feel a stretch, but I want the inner thighs to stay activated. We're gonna do one more each way. So when you're even, we'll meet with the legs back up to the sky. Bring it back to center, toes to the sky. Reach your hands to the sky. Just reach up towards the toes and lower back down. Reach up and lower and lift and lower. Lift and hold and little reaches up, up, up. The legs are against a wall. Pelvis is in neutral for five, four, three, two, plus one. Lower all the way back down. Give your knees a little hug. Place the feet on the mat, setting back up to go into single leg bridge. So we'll be rolling all the way up into your bridge. Bring your right leg into tabletop, extend it to the sky. So leg is still up long, and then small lower, small lift, small lower, small lift. So left hamstring and glute has a lot of activation. Arms can be relaxed alongside your body. Keep pushing your right sits bone to the front. And then hold that leg up. Let the leg go a couple inches away from the body and then draw back in. Maybe it's one inch. It's just a little move out to the side and then back up to straight. It goes out to the side and back up to straight. So just adding a little bit of movement to challenge the stability and then hold it to the sky and pulse up, up, up even higher. Maybe you lift your left toes 10 for five, four, three, two, last one. Place a foot on the mat, push your hips up higher. Commit to staying even and up high. Let's bring the left leg into tabletop, extend it up to the sky, push the left sits bone forward, and then with the hips, they go down a little bit and lift, small lower, small lift. Getting that squeeze at the top, drawing the abs in, continuing to push your left sits bone towards the front, and then we hold it up, let the leg go a little away from the body and straight back in. It just takes an inch or two off to the side. And breathe. Three. And then we hold it back up to the sky. And maybe we lift the right toes and tiny pulse up. Up. Little lifts for 10. Five, three, two. Last one. Place that foot on the mat. Push the hips up to the sky. And then small little lift of the hips up, press up. So the feet are evenly pressing down. Just one more time, tightening in the bum, long neck, push the sits bones forward, thighs up high for five, four, three, two, last one, sequentially rolling it all the way down. 
and then give the knees a little bit of a hug. Take the stretch there. Let's cross the right ankle over the left knee and pull back from behind the left thigh, pushing your right sits pull, or right thigh away from you. Let's take one more breath there. And we'll switch sides. Grabbing behind the right thigh, pushing the left thigh away from you. Let the tailbone be heavy. Keep pushing the left elbow into the left thigh. And we'll release that. Let the legs go all the way out to straight. Reach the hands up to the sky. Draw the abs in. And then lift the head back to your shoulders and roll all the way up, vertebra, 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 all the way up, up, up. Take a little dive forward. And let's come into rolling like a ball. So, sitting up tall on the sits bones, through the heels, fingertip touch to the ankles. Lift the heels up and pull the heels in a little bit closer towards you. Tuck your chin, tuck your pelvis. Roll into your shoulder blades and come up and balance on your sits bones. And roll, keeping the heels in. So try not to let the legs fly away from you. That looks good. I like how everyone's a tight little ball. Two more. One more. Come all the way up to balance and hold. Legs to table. Grab behind the thighs. Lift and lengthen yourself up. Roll your shoulder blades down. Kick the toes up to the sky and tap them to the mat up to the sky, into the mat, and then maybe release your hands now that you have that good position. And lift and lower. And then lift and hold. And then slowly roll yourself all the way down to the mat. Hug the knees in, take a quick little stretch there, and let's bring the legs back to tabletop for a single leg stretch. Reach the hands to the sky. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Extend the left leg long. And frame the right knee with both hands. Inhale, exhale, we go switch and switch. So the leg comes back into that tabletop position, trying to stop it right over your pelvis. Breathe. You could even make a little buffer for your knee if you want to push the thigh into your hands and the hands into the thigh. Pause. And pause. Lift. Breathe. For three, two, last one each way. Bring it back to center. Give the knees a little hug. Head rocks side to side or circles on the ceiling with your nose. And we'll bring the legs back to tabletop. Hands up to the sky, flow head, neck, and shoulders up, reach just past your knees. Extend the arms and legs long for a double leg stretch and circle to bring the arms around to draw the knees into table. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, bring it to center. Inhale and exhale. Can you get the tip of the shoulder blades up off the mat without losing neutral? For three, last one. Bring everything back to center, hug it in, and relax. And we'll bring the legs back to tabletop for a single straight leg stretch. We send the legs up to the sky, reaching the hands up, staying in neutral. So anchor your pelvis into the, or your sacrum into the mat. Floating head, neck, and shoulders up. Extend your left leg long and give a little double pull the legs and the legs pull hold. Inhale and exhale. Maybe you'll reach up to the ankle. Maybe you can reach your fingertips forward. So you decide, I think I want my hands on my leg today. Inhale and exhale. Yes. Exhaling on the switch. One more each way. Bring both legs back up. Hug it all the way in and relax. Sorry, friends, I don't have the challenge in me today. <laughs> Next week, we'll be back to the challenge. And then let's bring the legs to the table. Fingertip touch behind the ears. Double straight leg lower. So making sure you really stay within your range of motion to protect your low back here. Lengthen the legs up to the sky. And then flow head neck your shoulders up. Inhale to let your legs lengthen out to your point of control. See your low abs pull in as you draw the legs back up to the sky. So legs can be in parallel, they can be in turnout. 
if it's turnout, it's a micro turnout. It's not a big turnout here. Extend. Pelvis stays still. You have a little bit of space underneath your low back for four. Using your breath. Two. Last one. And we'll drag the legs all the way back up and hug it all the way in and relax. And breathe. We've got one more in the abdominal series, as you know. So loosen up everything there and then let's bring the feet back down just to regroup into our neutral pelvis. <clears throat> and we'll bring the fingertip touch behind the ears, float the head, neck, and shoulders up, extend the left leg long and twist to bring the left shoulder in the direction of the right knee and bring it back to center. And twist and center. Exhale as you twist over, up and over, twist and twist. Thinking bottom rib to opposite hip. And we'll reach. Two more each way. Last one each way. And we'll bring everything back to center and give it a hug. And then extend long, stretching it all out. Making your body a little bit longer with each breath, like someone's pulling you apart from either side. One more breath there. And then hands to the sky, from the back of the thighs down, inhale, exhale, Pull yourself up, up, up and over. We'll take a dive forward and then we're gonna grab our weights. So we're gonna get our weights. I need to find mine and take a sip of caffeine. Do you guys do this without caffeine in the morning? Or you've already had caffeine before we, or no one needs it. Okay. So we've got our weights. That was my worst transition with weights ever. <laughs> Arms out long, sitting up tall, slide the shoulder blades down. And then just tuck and roll back halfway and come up to sit halfway and come up to sit halfway and hold. We're going to bend the right elbow, bend the left elbow. So we'll start opposite sides first. Bend and straighten. One more like that. And then turn the palms towards each other. Same thing. Bend. Back. Staying at your halfway roll at that point, trying to really focus on the abs to hold you, not gripping in the thighs. And then both arms out, both arms in. Both arms out, both arms in. Breathe. For four. Two. Last one. Both arms out. Turn the palms down. Go all the way down to the mat. Take a long stretch here. If it feels good, letting the weights pull you back a little bit further. And then hands up to the sky, rolling up to your halfway point, turning the palms towards each other, slide the shoulder blades down and just hinge the arms open and close. Tucking the pelvis, so you're just sliding your tailbone underneath you for three. Last one, bringing it back to center, sitting up tall. Send the arms long behind you, wide into the collarbone. And then just start to press the weights towards each other. Press them in and in. Breathe. Widen the collarbone a little bit more. Hold it in, lift the arms a little bit higher, and then just press up. Middle lifts for five. And then flip the palms to the sky. Lengthen your body a little bit longer. Lift the arms up and a little bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. So you can bend your knees if it feels better to be in this position to get your spine longer for five. Three, two, and last one. Send the arms all the way forward. Sit up tall, the arms overhead, and then just bend and press over your head. Trying to keep the shoulder blades down the spine. So not coming into your neck as your arms raise over your head. 
which is what we want anyways. If we're reaching up to grab something, you don't want to get all up into your neck. Can you stabilize your shoulder blades? Last one, holding them up. Turn the palms towards each other. Bend the elbows for triceps and straighten. Bend and straighten. You're sitting up long and tall. Your neck is long. Five more here. Press. Two. And last one. And then just bring the arms down by your sides. Tuck your elbows in and open and close. So like you're holding a glass in your hands or a wine bottle. <laughs> and then just open and close. Collarbone is wide. <clears throat> Hold the arms open, tiny presses out. Little presses for five, four, three, two, and last one. And bring it all the way in. You can place your weights to the side. And then we're gonna come to lay on your right side. All the way out onto your side, stacking your body on your balance feet. So you can rest your head out onto your arm to start. Feel your bottom waistline lifting up off of the mat. Draw the abs in. The legs are out straight or slightly to the front, not behind you. So make sure you're long and straight here. Kickstand hand can be to the front if you need it. Lift the top leg up in line with the hip. Lift the bottom leg up to meet it and they both go down. You can point the toes. Lift, lift, and lower. Up, up, and down. Breathe. Try to keep that space underneath the waistline. Lift and hold, bottom leg only. It goes down and up and down and up. Feeling that inner thigh activate to lift the thigh up. And then hold the leg up in small scissor. Scissor. One more each way. Bring it back to center, flex the feet. They both go down, they both lift. They both lower, they both lift. Breathe. And last one, hold them up, lift them, come two inches forward, not even, smaller, one inch forward, and then just bring the feet down. Head can stay down or you can prop it up, your choice. Push the top hip away. Lift the top leg up, flex the foot, and we'll sweep the leg forward and point and sweep it back. Flex to bring it forward and point and sweep it back. So firming up the tush. Sweep forward and lower. Long leg, keeping the pelvis still. One more, hold the leg back and tiny pulses back, press back. Little tiny pushes to the back for five. Keeping the tush tight and then just bring it back to center, spiral the thigh open, extend to the sky, flex and drag it down. Lengthen, lift, flex and pull. So pulling against resistance. Lift and drag it down. The next one is gonna stay up to the sky. Lift and hold, spiraling the thigh open and draw little circles. Little stirs to the sky. <clears throat> and then reverse that. And holding it there, foot flex. Let's let the leg fall forward to right in front of your hip and then lift right back up. So it's not coming all the way to the floor. We're gonna let it come right in front of the hip and sweep it up. And press. Three more like that. When I don't have the floor out in front of me, it's a little more challenging. <laughs> Even though it doesn't ever touch the floor, hold this one down and tiny bend straight in and press. And press, keep pushing your bum back. And then hold, sweep it all the way back in and bend the knees. Setting up for clamshells, push the top hip away, 
heels in line with the tailbone, and then open the top knee and let it rest. Not let it rest, it comes down and it goes right back up. So it doesn't actually get to rest down there. It almost touches down and it goes right back up. The top hip keeps pushing away from you. No way to press up, squeeze. Try to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Are you still drawing the ribs in? And then we'll hold it up, tiny pulses up, pulse up. Tiny little lips, keeping the heels super glued together. And then rotate knee to knee and toe to ankle. Knee to knee and toe to ankle. So pelvis is staying still, top hip is pushing away. So you're not going to be going into your piriformis. You want to keep all this length. And then knee stays down and kick the leg out. Tap it down and kick it out and squeeze. And lengthen. Tap and press squeeze. So it goes a little bit to the back. So you get that firming of the tush. And then hold it back and tiny pulses up. For five. And last one, bringing it all the way back in and lower it down. You can punch the glute out there. And we'll bring the knees now to a side tabletop position. Push the top hip away, flex the feet. Sweep the top leg up and let it lower almost a touch and it goes right back up. Lower and lift and up. Shoulders relax away from the ears. I don't know about you guys, but my bum is not happy. It is happy, but not feeling great. Last one, let's let it come down to right in front of the hip and draw little circles, stirring it around and around. So the abs are still working, push the bum back and reverse. The abs are on break right now. They're holding it all together. And just because the burn is so good, kick the leg out straight and bring it in. Kick it out straight and draw it in. Kick and resist. Kick, resist to bring it back in. And we'll hold the leg all the way out and tiny pulse, pulse up, 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 keeping it all tight in the bum for five, four, three, two, and last one, bring it all the way in. Punch it out again. While we just have that side fired up, let's just do one more thing on it. Let's come on to forearms and knees. Same leg, extend that left leg long. Just lift and down, press up, squeeze and down. We're just, just gonna do a couple more here because I feel like it needs it. But guess what? Your abs are still working. They're magnetized up and into your spine. Hold it up and tiny pulses up. You can bring your right hand onto your belly if you feel like you need more challenge or just to make sure it's working. And then bend the knee and tiny kicks to the sky, press up. Long neck, slide the shoulder blades away from the ears. And then keeping the knee up, just open the knee up to the side and angle the toe back and small lift of the knee. Lifting the knee to the sky and holding that up, flex the foot and then kicking your heel to your opposite bum cheek. Kick it to the other side. For five. And last one, and then bring that knee all the way back down and press back child's pose, take a stretch. The knees can be wide if that feels good, bringing your chest to the mat. And then you're gonna bring yourself all the way up, one time into a cat, one time into a cow, loosening up any tension and bring it back center. And then let's repeat the process on the other side, which I hope everybody remembered, right? Everyone's got that. So we're laying all the way out on our left side. On the balance beam, the legs are out straight or a micro inch to the front. Bottom waistline is lifted. Point the toes, draw the belly in. We go lift top leg, lift bottom leg. They both go down. We go lift, lift, and lower. Wrapping the ribs in. 
shoulders relax. Up, up, and down. Keep the length through the top waistline. Last one. Now let's take it up, up and hold. Bottom leg goes down and lift and lower and lift. So they're both working. And the abs are working. And then we hold it up, scissor the legs. We go switch and switch with control. Pulling the abs in, pull the ribs in, smooth and controlled. And then bringing it back to center, flex the feet. They both go down, they both go up. They both go down and they both lift. Pushing the heels long away from you. Just go up to feel that side waistline for three. And last one, lift and hold. Bring them an inch forward and lower them down. Pushing the top hip away, head can stay down or prop up, your decision. Lift the top leg, flex the foot, sweep the leg forward and point and kick it back. Flex forward as far as you can and point to the back. All the while keeping the pelvis still, running the leg in the same line as it tracks forward and tracks back. Pulling the abs in, strong leg, two more like that. The next one, let's hold the leg all the way to the back. Hold, tiny pulses back. Keep pushing the top of away, and then bring it back to the bottom leg, spiral the thigh open as the leg lifts, flex to draw it down. And we lift and flex pull. Extend and and lower. Let's do three more. Pull up, pull down. And then the next one, we keep it up. Spread the thigh open in circles. Is something wrong with my internet? I saw something pop up. Can, are we all still going? And then reverse. Pull the abs in and then hold. Flex the foot, let the leg come forward, and sweep it back up. Give me a thumbs up if you can still hear, because it's like starting to freeze up. Are you guys all with me? Yeah, okay. all with me here. Okay, cool. Because it was popping up that like something was wrong with my internet or something, and then it was freezing. Hold this one forward and small bend kick, bend press. Little bend press for five. And last one, sweep it all the way back. Bend both knees to clamshell position, lining up the heels with the tailbone. Keep the heels together, open and close. And we lift and lower. Open and close. Pushing the top hip away. Coming up the tush. And then on the next one, let's hold it open and tiny pulses up. Keeping the pelvis still, pull the abs in. And then rotate knee to knee, toe to ankle. Knee to knee and toe to ankle. So really getting all of the rotation happening inside the hip socket, lubricating the joint, keeping our hips healthy and happy with some range of motion. And then we'll keep the knee down, kick the leg back up. Tap down, up and back the diagonal. Down, back up, squeeze. Tap, press, squeeze. And then, do we hold it out and do pulses up? Yeah, hold it out, little tiny lips. For five, four, three, two, and last one, bring it all the way in. You can punch the booty out. And then knees at 90 degrees, side tabletop, push the top hip away, flex with the feet, sweep the leg open, and almost touch it down. We lift and almost touch it down. Lift and lower. 
to try to keep the hips super even here for three. And last one, let it come down even and draw little circles. Poke the bum back and then reverse. And we'll lower that leg all the way back. To, oh, lies, keep it up and press it out straight and drag it in. I was already ready to go to the next one. I forgot this part. Press up, squeeze, I think, because my bum is burning so bad it was ready to stop. Squeeze and drag it in, press squeeze. This one stays out, hold, push the hip a little bit longer away from you and tiny pulse up, up. Keep the tension for five, four, three, two, and last one, bring it in. Now you can push it out and then we're meeting onto the forearms and knees. So elbows underneath the shoulders, extend that top leg out, it goes down, lift, squeeze. Pulling your abs up and in, keeping the hips square. Make sure the left knee is under the hip, not in the center. Down up, squeeze. Long leg lift. Keeping the neck long. And then holding it up, tiny presses up. Firming right underneath the tush. So where the hamstring and the glute meet. And then we'll bend that knee in and tiny pulses up. Up, up. Getting the toes up to the sky. Breathe, pull the belly in, and then angle the knee out, angle the toes back, and pulse the knee up, keeping the neck long. And then flex that foot and kick back, like you can kick to the other booty cheek. For five. And last one, and bring it all the way back in. Wide knees, press back to your child's pose, and take a breath in. And three, let your butt be a little bit heavier to your heels. Two more breaths there. And we're gonna slide all the way forward out onto your belly. Let the arms go long to the front, legs long. Draw the abs in, let the neck just relax for a moment. Draw, press the hip bones and pubic bone down and then draw the abs up and in. And we'll lift the head slightly. We're gonna lift the right arm and left leg and lower into the mat. So the head is an extension of the spine. So you've gotta keep this spine long. Other side, lift and lower. And we lift and lower. Plug the shoulder blade away from the ear. One more single arm, single leg. And then we're gonna float both arms and legs up, draw the abs in and start to swim. Little flutter kicks, start to swim. Breathe, long neck, swim. For five, four, three, two, and last one, lower everything down. You can fold the forearms together and just let the head relax on the forearms. And breathe. And you send the arms out one more time to the front. And then turn the thumbs up towards the sky so the palms are facing each other. Imagine you're holding something in your hand. So that energy pressing in, side the shoulders down, draw the abs in, and flow arms and legs up. Get longer. Pull the belly up and in. Lift the pelvic floor. And then open the arms out to the sides like you're flying across the floor. Reach the fingertips to the sides of the room. And then touch the hands back to the hips. Long arms, fingertips go to the toes. And then out to the side again, you're flying across the floor. Reach the arms forward, palms are facing each other like you're holding something, and fold the arms and lower back down, shake the pelvis out. We're gonna do that one more time. And then extend the arms out long again, turn the palms towards each other, thumbs to the sky. Plug the shoulder blades away from the ears, draw the abs up and in, and we float up, get longer. And then arms out to the sides. And then hands touch the hips, long neck. And then arms out to the sides. Arms reach to the front. You refold the arms, lower the head, relax everything down. And then gently press yourself back to a child's pose again. Take the breath there. Breathe. 
and just breathe, letting everything go. Lengthen the fingertips long to the front, but it's heavy on the heels. We're gonna make our way up onto our hands and knees, taking it into a cat, dropping the head, drop the tail, and into a cup. And into your cat. And into your cup. One more time, and then we'll meet in neutral. And we'll bring it back to center. We're gonna make our way, we're gonna do a plank, but we're not gonna do our normal plank because we don't have story today. So we're gonna do plank to side plank to plank to side plank. Okay? Are you with it? Okay, so hands underneath the shoulders. Because Neil, you don't have the story, right? I'm correct. Correct. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure I understood right. Okay, legs are long, all the way up into your plank. Draw the abs in. You could also do this on your forearms if you prefer. So let's really feel the pelvis being supported by pulling your low belly up and in. Lengthen your heels back, lengthen the front of the head forward, slide your shoulders away from your ears. Press the floor away from you. Fingertips down, press the heel of the hand down. Feel lightness in the palm of your hand. And then walk the left hand underneath your face, rotate your right hand up to the sky into your side plank. Lifting the hips a little bit higher. Let the neck be long. Let the hips come a little higher, wrap the ribs in, and then let's bring that back to our front plank. We're sitting up strong in the front plank, set the shoulders away from the ears, firm the thighs, press the heels back, breathe. And then walk the right hand under and bring that left arm up to the sky, push the hips up. Slide the shoulder over your ear, feeling very strong and supported. And then back to your front plank one more time. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Let's take it to a downward dog. Lifting the six bones high to the sky. Set the shoulders away from the ear. You can run the knees out here. Press those heels back and then begin to walk the feet to your hands. Slow walk and just hang out in your forward fold. See that the feet are hip width apart, let your head hang heavy. You can grab onto either elbow and swing side to side. Leaning into the toes, leaning into your heels. And into your toes and into your heels. And then evenly distributing your weight and then micro bend the knees. So if you can just bend and straighten the knees here. And then with the knees softened, let go of the arms, draw the abs in and slowly start to roll your spine up. Restacking, maybe this thing longer, taller and stronger than before class. Pulling the shoulder blades down and we'll take a nice big inhale up. Exhale it out. One more time, big inhale up. And exhale. And nice work, Pilates hotties. Thank you for joining me for class from Brooklyn. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm trying to work. Stop the stop recording.